How's it going out there, everybody? In the TV world, this is Mr. Dark Phoenix and Spider-Man here, bringing you the much-anticipated Arrow episode, The Scientist, featuring everybody's favorite speedster, Barry Allen, played by Grunt Gus played by Grunt Gustin, who was also a character on Glee, because I had to unleash my inner Gleek, because I love Glee also, so... There you go. But without further ado, let's get right started on this episode. Me and Spider-Man cannot wait to tell you what we thought about this episode. So let's just jump right into it. Uh, the first couple minutes is going to be a super-powered beatdown. So, the typical, you know, two human people think they can take on anything that can break through a metal door. Obviously, if you become a security guard, you don't have any common sense. Because if that was me or anybody else with any common sense, it would have been like, well, he was able to tear right through that steel door with any no chance at all so uh, it's gonna come going this way but I'm gonna go that way and let you deal with stuff so yeah let's do that let's go right into that our famous cameo makes his appearance as the commercials and the, everything else ruined it but pretty much you know our famous cameo comes in and damn it he's so flash like in this first episode now that I said for this fellow Glee comment our warbler has moved up to speedster because like I said, I'm a Glee fan, I recognize him from Glee, so first he was a Warbler, now he's a Speedster, so. Quite an upgrade though, if I may say so myself. We always have to throw a party for all occasions, no matter what it is. Which is kind of what I like about billionaire playboys, they always have to have some kind of a celebration or some kind of a party for something, like anything, like mom just got out of prison, such and such just happened, family issues, oh wait, that's not going to be a party, I hope. And it's like, what's the, what's, what, what's the banner going to say? Maury said, you are not the father? Come on now, what are we going to do about this? Demands were made on a family basis, and it's just like, do what I say because I'm back. It's like, no. I'm pretty sure this other character didn't get to where they were by being submissive and being, you know, told what to do all the time. So, see, this got a sleeve. We got a trick under it. So, we have to check later on to see how good that goes. We prove one character isn't anything to mess with. Like I said before, we have to basically watch whose toes we step on because some characters may surprise you, others may just be ready to fold, other characters are always ready to fight because their last name suggests a fighter and you treat them as such. Character references frighten me. As with this thing, yeah. His name being mentioned already brings fear into my beard and into my heart and into my brain and everything and I'm just afraid of what they're gonna do. I'm even more afraid of who's gonna play him. I mean, are, 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 are they really gonna get Liam Neeson to come and do this? Because if they do, I'm really gonna be something more than terrified. I'm not sure if I could watch an episode of him on the show and to just watch it with a straight face because I'll be terrified the whole time. This smile is for you guys because inside I'm, I'm petrified of what could happen. Secrets of danger are best kept not hidden. Because if you fought this kind of enemy before and you know what we're up against, why wouldn't you tell us? We are in this together, and if I'm going to get my ass royally kicked by something that you know what it is, that's something you should tell. There's no truth time necessarily needed for this kind of enemy, so start coughing up the secrets. Because a lot of stuff happened on that island that we need to know about. Flash references anger my inner nerd, in case you all didn't know, the scene where him and Felicity were in the lab and he's around all the chemicals and the lightning strikes and that's funny because that's how he became the Flash and that's making me mad because that's that reference is like they just basically stuck in a whole bunch of references just to make people mad so I don't know how to feel about that but it's funny because they know what to do and they know how to push our buttons, so all in all, it's really good. Roy plays Charlie with his two angels because Roy has to play detective somehow and he's got to do some more stuff. So, why not? As long as I always say, as long as you got more people, the more the Scooby Detective Agency we can get on with this right here. A party isn't a party without a proper guest list. Granted, many people didn't show up, but. Then again, who really cares? Because I would have come. I don't care what the occasion was. As long as there's free food and free stuff, free drinks, I don't care. I'll go for whatever the party was. Just got out of prison. Congratulations! Everything always works out for 
people, even though no one knows how, but it's all good. I mean, if I meet one of your fancy parties, Oliver, where's my invite? I'll go. And Barry Allen can just sway. He can't really dance, but he's got two left feet, so he can just sway around and, you know, do other kind of stuff. Our motherly instincts kick in, and we wonder who we can and cannot trust at this point. Because, like I said, you don't get to this level by being stupid on this level. So, there's something about one of Oliver's new companions that Mommy doesn't like. And if Mommy doesn't like somebody, then we're going to spend a couple episodes wondering what another character's true motives are. And I can't really wait to see what's going to go down with that. Barry and... Barry and his origins come to play a little bit. And, you know, he's late, or this and that, or he missed the train, or he's not fast enough or something, always come into play. And it's really, really, really bad, because it's like my nerd side is, like, annoyed, and I can't take it anymore, and it's just, yeah. And let's not forget the most controversial part of the episode, nothing shows know your place more than an arrow in the knee. I'm going to kick Stephen Amell right in his shin if I ever meet him, because he put an arrow through Colton Haynes' leg, and he put it right through his knee. So not only is that an Elder Scrolls reference, but I just have to kick him because he hurt Colton Haynes, and I just don't like that. So I don't like any of that. So I have to kick him in the shin next time I meet him, or when the first time I meet him, and I have to make sure that Colton's all right. But then again, nothing shows know your place like an arrow in the knee. So can't really say much about that. Nothing says help my friend like a friendly kidnapping. You're in a strange place, you wake up with a bunch of people around you and an unconscious dude on the chair. You don't know how you got here, but you're supposed to help because you're Barry Allen and you're a scientist. And you don't have your powers yet, so you got to keep yourself busy until stuff happens. And unfortunately, what's today? Today, our, today the mid-season finale will air tomorrow. I did it today just so I can give you guys a little taste of what's going to happen and all this good stuff. So this was last week's episode, and this mid-season now will be, will be taking place tomorrow. I will be sure to put the episode out probably tomorrow night after the episode airs, after I watch it. So, thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in for more TV time. This has been Mr. Dark Phoenix of Spider-Man, saying, always show your future apprentices the best love you can by shooting an arrow at them in a non-lethal spot. I'm going to catch you guys tomorrow with the mid-season finale. And by the way it looks, I can't wait to see what's going to happen. Because Brother Blood looks like he's going to get some stuff done. So I'm going to catch you guys tomorrow for the new mid-season finale episode of Arrow. And don't always forget to remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Give me a big thumbs up. And always remember to geek out and enjoy your lives. Catch you later. Catch you tomorrow.